Hi everybody, I'm Kelly Harrell, and you're listening to What in the Weird. The weekly rune is out this morning, yesterday, in full and ad-free for the Patreon people. And this week we have some interesting repetition and overlap from last week, which consequently spawned last week's episode on What in the Weird on reversed runes. You know you want to know, so check out episode 10, and do read the weekly rune at soulintentarts.com. So this week's rune topic comes from a listener, which thanks everybody for your kind comments and feedback on the show and for forgiving me for saying so all the time. It's a thing. So the question is, see, I just did it again. The question is, when should one make their own rune set and how should you choose what the runes are made of? Well, that's two questions, but they're always related and I see them come up all the time in rune forums. The short answer is when you feel so moved and out of whatever you want to. Seriously, it's, it's a thing for people to make this enormous, like, to-do out of what runes should be made out of, how you should do it, and when you should do it. it. It really doesn't have to be that somber of a thing. Of course, it could be if you want it to. You do what you want. There are plenty of people who feel they must be made of wood or bone, they have to be blooded or consecrated in some way. In all honesty, every ritual tool I've ever made that I use for myself has been blooded because for me, it's just part of the work. It's part of the sacrifice and the joining of life forces, though I don't necessarily do it under the influence of high ritual. It's just kind of um, a simple, sweet exchange on my part. There's nothing wrong with buying a set of runes. Loads of people make gorgeous sacred sets. You can find them all over the place on the internet now. In fact, if you're not sure about your relationship to the runes, getting a set may be a good place to start coming into connection with them. And then as you feel more bonded, use that bond as part of the sacred space that you create when you make your own set. I do think that making your own set is a huge part of the bond to the runes themselves. When you start to trip over what they should be made of, it sort of takes on a whole new dynamic. For me, I attempted to make my own set, I, I bet I sat down six or seven times to make them out of wood, and every time I just didn't feel it. it, it I just, nothing came from the wood, the runes, the tools, nothing. So I continued working with my store-bought set for probably 10, 12 years. But then one day, a million years ago, I was making some other projects out of clay, and without even thinking about it, I looked up and had a full Elder Futhark. So that's the set that's pictured in the weekly room now, years later. And while I was making them, I realized it wasn't about the material for me, but about the colors. Silver and cerulean blue have been significant in my shamanic travels, and so my runes reflect that connection in their colors. I recently had to give them a facelift, which I talked about in an earlier episode. There's nothing like rune crisis to make you question your relationship to your oracle. So uh, check out that episode. I think it's the runes in when your oracle is in flux. Not fun. So really, I make runes out of everything. I make them out of clay, rocks, leaves, maple keys, if you know what those are, Um, buckeyes, acorns, bone, wood. I make them out of everything. And some of them aren't intended to last. They're not intended to be reused. They're a one-shot deal, and I burn them after. So... Keep that in mind also. But I incorporate them into a great deal of my artwork, which you can find on Etsy. For me, my brain is pretty much rune-centric. I look at them, I see them in everything, and then as far as artistically, I just bring them out when I sit down to whatever the materials are. Ultimately, I'm an animist, so I wouldn't go the route of everybody says your runes are bogus unless you do them this way. Plus, I'm pretty certain I'd have been sorted into Slytherin, so I don't take direction well anyway. My advice Ask the runes how they want to show up in your life. What do they want to be made out of? What color do they want to be? How do they want to be made? I would love to see your rune sets. And I think they're a deep reflection of who you are and how you relate to them. So drop me a picture on Instagram or Twitter at Kelly Soul Arts, or call in by hitting the contact button on Anchor or email me at kelly at Thanks. This is Kelly. You're listening to What in the Weird.